Hey guys, we're back with episode 3 and we are going to finish off this mission this time. Yes, we are. Adam, it's David. You got the typhoon? Yeah, but you were right about there being something more behind this. Because I've also got a dead purist in here with some pretty interesting cerebral implants. Don't touch him. We'll need an expert to recover his neural hub in case it's booby trapped. Copy that. Right. What about Sanders? SWAT's pressure me to let them off the leash. Find them before they do, and deal with them. Hmm. Okay. Judge! I don't think it matters so much now. And I think we've almost done this mission. Who blew the button? There we go. Joy <laughs> did my attack. Bottom, bum, 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 Dropped. Pow. Bitch. I don't like that lady. She has a weird haircut. See. What the hell do you have? Right, hang on. Listen, go. Fetch. Sounded like it came from over there. You're that imagining shit. There's a flying bin. That's not a perfect. I missed. I'm really bad. I do apologize. What the hell is that douche? Oh, there is. I can't be after this. How the what the? Okay. I swear to God, I didn't touch your crutch. I'm recharging my health. Let's go. I'm gonna get up the big guns now. I'm sick of this shoots. Let's go. Kick down the door. Jack. Don't lie to me. I don't wanna hurt you. You're a civilian. But I will if you don't give me a choice. You didn't wanna hurt anyone. You should have stayed home tonight. Oh look! Seraph's attack dog. You're here to clean up before the police bust in? He thinks we're breaking the law. Shut up! All you body polluters break the laws. You're all the same. You're gonna have a hard time convincing people you're any different once they hear you had an AUG on your team. What? I found your attack dog in the factoring labs, trying to cut through security with his implanted hackware. Nice try, Tolo. But I would never let one of you freaks on my crew. Back off, Lantern! I got business to take care of, understand? If what you say is true, and I'm not saying it is, you hear me? But I gotta... I gotta check things out. So, mia la vieja, we're leaving. Oh, hell no, hey, hell you ain't. <laughs> you know I can't let you go with her. Stand down, Hanser! I told you, stand down or this bitch is dead. Bullshit. You're bigger than that. You don't kill civilians. Damn right. I'm a decorated vet. And I won't be jerked around. I need to find out who's behind this, and right now the boss lady is my only ticket out of here. 
Listen to me. Whatever's going on, it's big. You've got a better chance of getting to the bottom of it if you work with me. But I can't do a thing until you let her go. Let her go. Are you stupid? I don't work with dogs. God, you must think I'm some kind of moron. And who can blame you? Because it's exactly what it must look like to everyone right now. Trapped in here by the cops, and my only option is to take a hostage. How screwed up is that? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Better than you think. You're still standing, and that's more than the hacker was expecting. You said you're a vet, so I know you've got the balls to handle this. Nice. You don't need the civilian to get you out of here. <laughs> you got a good point there, but still, I know you're kind. I saw it a million times in the go. The only thing augmented goons like you care about is gaining the advantage, just like the cops up there. I'd have to be stupid to do anything you tell me to. Hmm. The only thing the cops are focused on right now is the safety of the civilians. Same as you. You've risked your life to do what's best for other people. You're not some drive-by banger. <laughs> I know that. The question is, do they... You know what? We're done talking. The puta who tricked my brother thought he had his beat. But we are so much tougher than he can be. I'm gonna go find him and anybody else who helped him. And when I do, they're gonna see the Angel of Vengeance in action, baby. Let go of the lady. Listen, the hacker's plan was for you to die. He knew there would be civilians here tonight. He thought of everything. He used your brother because he knew you would trust him. That's how well he knows you. He expected you to take a hostage, just like he knew the cops would kill you for it. You're right. Damn. You know, he even asked me once about hostages. I told him I would if I had to. I thought I had to hear, but I can't afford to, can I? Go on, get out of here. You're free to do it. I did what you wanted. So let me go. I got played here too, I see. That you did. I've got as much interest in finding out who's really behind this as you do, Cameron. Yeah, well. Maybe I'll owe you one. But I promise you this. Someone's gonna pay. Now let me chase him down Over and kick him out. Adam! Adam, what's happening? What's your situation? Adam! Sanders is gone, boss. But I'm pretty sure he's just a dupe. Somebody else set this up. Damn it. Okay, I want you back here now. The admin building has a rooftop terrace. Meet Farida on it. What about the hostages? Shouldn't I? There's nothing you can do, son. So I couldn't save him. Oh, no. Hey. Not quite what you signed up for, is it, Jensen? Excuse me? Sneaking into your own factory to hide stuff while the boss holds the cops at bay? Don't get me wrong, I love Mr. Seraph. I just hate it when contracts become more important than people. I thought you did too. I do. But things don't always go according to plan, Malik. I did what I could. I... I'm sure you did. You ready to go? I am. Yeah, get me out of here, Malik. Your wish is my command. Climb in.
bloody loading screens. New orders just in, Jensen. The boss wants Pritchard to examine the Typhoon ASAP. Copy that. Thanks for the lift. No problem. Hey, and, uh, Jensen. I just wanted to say, new look suits you. Like, you haven't missed a beat at all. Thanks. So, how's it feel? Being augmented. Excuse me? Don't take it the wrong way. I mean, I've got a few neuro enhancements myself. Discreet ones to help me fly better. But I chose to get them implanted. You didn't. Now that you had a chance to try them out, what do you think? I think they're pretty kick-ass. You're right. I didn't choose to get augmented. And I still don't know if I would have if given the choice. But today felt good. Surprisingly good. Dr. Reed said you'd take to them. Said it was in your genes. Just be careful, okay? A lot of people think there's a reason the human body rejects this technology over time. I didn't peg you for the type who gets caught up in metaphysical debates, Malik. I'm not. I told you myself, I've got neuro enhancements. I'm just saying the choices we do get to make inevitably have consequences. Yeah. Tell that to the bastard who did this to me. I hear you. And you know what? You're not the only person in this place who wants to find him. So if I can help in any way, all you gotta do is ask. Find him. How? Actually, there is something. I wanna know about the first attack. Fine. Ask away. You were there that night. What do you remember about it? That it was chaos. First, everybody figured there'd been some kind of accident, but Pritchard couldn't get a good visual and communications were haywire. Then we heard the explosions. By the time anyone knew what had hit us... They were gone. Whoever they were, they were good, I can't say. Special training good. One of my missiles. Did anyone else see them? The men who attacked? Not well enough to get a description. Pritchard got some fuzzy images off one of the IntelliCams, but his tapes were all confiscated by Homeland Security. Homeland? I heard Homicide passed it over to Special Investigations. Detroit Special Investigations. They did. For the first month. After that... All I really know is, the case is still pending. And Mr. Seraf is not pleased. I bet he's not. Well... Don't really... They were just trying to take the people. I'm gonna find them, Malik. One way or another. I believe you. I... You've got to get the Typhoon into the tech lab. Right? Here we know. Screw you. Right, I'm gonna get this to here, and then we're gonna end this episode. Onward. Yeah. Yeah. Run I faster. I think it's disgusting how public opinion has turned on David so quickly. Like it's his fault these lunatics keep attacking. Adam, I heard you were back, but I just didn't believe it. Gosh, you look good. You look I disgusting. disgusting. <laughs> and now she started a sentence again. Wait, where the hell am I going? There I am. La 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 la. There we go. Well, well. If it isn't Attila the Hun, fresh from the killing fields. If this is about the typhoon, I'll get to it in a minute. Now, Richard. I didn't risk my neck to have you lose it in a pile of CPUs and SCSI adapters. Well, look at you, using the big words. Don't think just because you hacked through the plant security system so fast that you're an expert on everything computer. There's a reason I can't examine the Typhoon yet. Do tell. For your information, I am running a diagnostic sweep on our network and router security to find out how Sanders Hacker got a hold of our codes. I'd have thought the first question to ask is, whose codes were they? Unless you already know. Stick to kicking down doors and shooting people, Jensen, and stop trying to do my job. I guarantee you we'll get along better that way. Guarantee you, you'll lose your life quicker that way. Right, where's my sprint ball? Oh, there it is. I always forget where things are on this.
What did Bill Gates and Steve Jobs talk about? Mac is better. No PC is better. No Mac is better. No PC. No Mac. No PC. And then they had a boxing match and then they both KO'd each other. And then Bill Gates got up and Steve Jobs didn't. And that's I'm why telling you, Hugh, he might not have put the gun in Sanders' hand, but it was Taggart's speech to the UN that started all this. William Taggart is nothing if not a shrewd political operator. You know that, David. He's so for the sake of appearances, I have to look him in the eye and let him bullshit me? With a smile. Oh, it's a holiday. Always now. with a smile. We'll talk later. Hey. Yeah, you wanted to see Baseball. Me? Yeah, how are you feeling? I've better days. Well, when we're done here, check him at Dr. Markovic at the Limb Clinic downtown. Get her to get a checkup. You insist. Listen, about Sanders? Yeah, about Sanders. What the hell were you thinking? Letting him slip away like that? I sent you in there to take care of things. You asked me to deal with the situation. Oh. And that's what I did. Arcing with your I boss. See. I'm also starting to see why your superiors in the police force decided to blame you for the Mexican town riots. Christ, uh -oh. Adam. I thought you were ready for this. I am. Today's attack was just a shell game being run by somebody else. I intend to find out who and why so that it never happens to anybody again. Good, because so do I. That hacker in Sanders' group, you're sure he was augmented? I pulled his cables out myself. Yeah, well, the police are saying he's not, and they're refusing to let me see the body, no matter how much money I threaten to pull from their retirement fund. Maybe someone else is offering more. So what do you want me to do, boss? We have to get a look at the corpse. Yeah, We've okay. still got friends in the force. You think, uh... You think one of them will let you into the morgue? It depends who I run into. Get over to the station and find a way inside. Because if that hacker was augmented, his neural hub might tell us who he was. Contact me when you've gotten a hold of it. Okay. You got it. Right. We're gonna end that episode, this episode here. Uh, what can I still use this out of it? Anyway, not important. Yeah, we're going in this episode here. Um, if you liked it, enjoyed it even, then leave me a like and maybe subscribe if you like my other videos. And if you want to see more, uh, let me know in comments how I could maybe improve and other things like that. Or maybe the decisions you would make or have made yourself. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, uh, goodbye.